Hi, this is Emily at thoughtsofmecrafts.com and I wanted to show you my organizing banner. So this is something where I had to think of a system to organize my stuff and know what colors I have what and what um, glitters I have, what markers I have so that I don't buy the same things. And I realize, I've been realizing when I go to store, I don't want to spend like like 50 million minutes thinking about do I have this or not have this should I just buy it and return it later blah 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 and um, I am actually going on a road trip next week and stopping by some stamping stores or yeah stamping stores and so I kind of wanted to have most of the stuff done so I've been working on this project for about mm, three weeks now um, and so this is, and I YouTube some um, suggestions or like, you know, just like what kind of binder I'm going to use. So this is what I have gotten and I like so far. Uh, I Who knows if I'm going to change or whatever, but I mean, I like the system so far, so I'm going to go with this. So this is a Martha Stewart binder and... There is a top folding um, band that goes onto it. So that is very good. I don't like it when it's separate because then you kind of lose it. You put it on, you take it off. But this way it's together so it's really good. So it has a thing to put your pen. And then let's get started. So here I put the fullest adhesive, adhesive, adhesive sheets on here. Um, from post-it and I just use mini glue dots on here. So it's pretty it's pretty much on there um, I should put business cards in here. Oh, I forgot I had these in here. These are dots Maybe I should put like, a sheet or something this in here, but it's not gonna fit huh? Yeah, well, okay so anyways um, Martha store it comes with Okay, so okay, a little bit about this system. This is called the Martha Stewart bind it, is it bind it ring binder ring bound system disc bound system and it originally came with let me show you oh, actually I don't know where I put it oh here it is it, <laughs> It's going to be really small. It originally came with, see this? This small. I mean, do you see the difference between this and this? This is, I don't know, a half an inch. Um, and then I bought this one from Martha Stewart, which is one and one fourth. And then I had ended up getting um, this size, which is one and and a half and so this fits a lot more papers in here uh, if they buy two inch I might go up to two inch um, I just keep on going more and more and more so um, it's not too bad switching over uh, we just have to be very careful and staples have their own brand called arc and um, so this is the staples brand and then this is the Martha Stewart brand so The, I, I feel like the most expensive um, part of this is the um, hole puncher. Hole puncher is $43.99 and I kind of wait f to buy it with the coupon or buy it with the sales or I just bought it. Everything on hope full price. Um, which is crazy. And so um, I just tore off a sheet. It comes with, comes with like three pretty thick um, pieces so just try a sheet uh, I have one of these in here um, because I have I mean originally of course I thought I put in like erasers and pens and stuff but what happens because my binder is already thick like it's just it's just it's just not doing justice and I don't want to like go like this because once I put this on it kind of folds down um, it's already thick, so I don't want it thicker. So I might just put like important pieces of paper or things I really don't want to lose and put it in there. Okay, 
So this is where you put your uh, name and phone number by cover that. Um, I don't know if I'm going to even write this down. Holidays, calendar, special dates. Do you see this? I hope it's not too bright. Um, a ruler. I do need to get a ruler. I'll show you the ruler it comes with. So I bought another one for this is my own personal one. Um, maybe I'll do like a planner update one day. But yeah. So this is like 90, 99 cents they can buy with the ARC system. So you can just put it on here. But I just have it for my calendar so I know what today is. Um, I do a lot of my project life planning in this in the calendar just because um, I, have my, um, I have a section in there. And I put my project life stuff in there because um, I write down what I do. So it's just easier when I'm planning it. Okay, so I have all these tabs. And I got this idea from most of the tab names from the lady where I got this idea from, which I'm going to link her video because she was my sort of inspiration for this. Um, so I'll just say the tab not names. So there's reference, coloring tool, metal dies, embellishment, embossing. Glimmer and Shimmer, Glitter Beads, Inks, not that you can really tell, okay, anyways, um, Paper, Paints, Punches, Stamps, Stencils, Miscellaneous, oh, I need a whole bunch of this, and Wish List, um, give me a whole bunch of this real quick. So I guess I'll just bring this over so you can see. This is the whole bunch, can you see? It's huge and massive, like, I don't know, the glare is really, um, I'm doing justice, but just punch, and it's like this, oops, and it locks, so it's not as massive, but it's still pretty massive, um, so you just, um, stick it in here, take it out, so it's really easy. Okay, so I'll show you what I've done so far. This is no means finished. Um, what can process? Okay, and so this is. I saw this on her, her Instagram. I'm like, ooh, this is so pretty. Like, I just want to get the stamp just so I can color in here. Um, I have like probably twenty Copics, and so um, I like printing stuff like this so that so I can see um, the hair colors and if I grab random Copics here and there I can you know make sure I get colors that I can work with so I have that this is the Stampin' Up color marker matches um, I don't think I have any of these colors I haven't really actually checked but I mostly don't um, I bought a lot of them because they're on sale at Hobby Lobby, yeah, it's a sad collection. Um, so I have a reference chart. And I just signed up to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. So that is something exciting. And I'm going to be also doing some videos with cards. Um, this is still it. Okay, I need to talk faster. <laughs> this is uh, my paper tray ink, Copic marker matches. Yet again, I don't have any colors, but I am going to one day work on this, so that's why it's in here. Continuation. So this I found online. I was on Pinterest, and um, I thought that's pretty cool, because um, it's probably because they already colored it in for you. Um, I don't know how true the color it is, but at least it gives you an idea, right? So this is um, Tim Holtz Distress Ink Pad Color Chart with Copic Match. So... Here you go. Then I saw this, and I thought that was a good idea to put week numbers for 2014. I guess I should um, 
somehow mark where we are at. So we are at. Where are we? Oh, it's already April. So I guess we're at gone. I thought you needed to see me do this in every single week. Okay. Um, I don't think you can see this pencil mark. Uh, but sometimes when I print out um, PDFs and I have to cut the edges, I just wrote down the measurements to know how much I need to cut to fit in here. But now I've gotten better where I... Oops. Maybe no, no. I've gotten better where um, I try to cut the PDFs in, on half a page so I just slip right down the middle because these pages are, what are these, 8 by 5 and a, five and a half. So it's basically like, um, if you put it together, it's like a whole sheet of paper of 11 by 8. So yeah, so this one is um, from my labeler. Um, so I printed out each side so I know when I'm labeling things, I can see like what size to do this on. So I think I was labeling things at these that I didn't know what size to do. So I kind of just printed that and I stuck it on here. These are just random tips i um, working on like Copics. It's best to use Memento ink pad which is good because you need a water based dye inks because they're alcohol based. And then for watercolor you need alcohol based inks like Versify. So coloring tools. Oh this is longer than I wanted. I'm gonna have to flip through this. Okay so the Copics I have, I have them colored in. Um, I bought a whole bunch of Copic at use Spica pens for like about a dollar, less than a dollar. So can't really tell. Probably can't tell on camera but um, I could have just scribbled on here. Uh, I put my Spectra Noir alcohol marker um, color chart in here. I um, I almost have all of them and I do need three big packs. This is my distress markers. I have some that I need some filling. I have one that dried out because I used it so much. And that one was Victorian Velvet. My memento markers, um, this is what I have. This is what all what Joanne can carry. If they had more packs, I would have got more packs. Um, so this is my Inktense pencils. I have the 24 pack. So I kind of just put it as is. And then with water, and this one, this one was where I took uh, my water brush to the pencil and I scribbled. And this is, I drew a line and then put water on it. Uh, uh, this is my Adirondack alcohol inks. I only have like five. Um, so I put X's on here. I probably um, put a sample like on some glossy paper and cut it and then glue it on here, but um, for now this is good. And you'll see, I haven't really figured out this. I haven't um, done all the coloring for this. Um, so this one, this is Distress Stains. I only have two, which is Wild Honey and Dusty Cord, Concord. A lot of the stuff that I get, I get it like when there are super clearance on sale. So, like I don't have to have each and every one, but I want to know what ones I have. So I don't have any re-inkers. So that's blank. Um, so I got the fabric Castile Gelato. So I got all of them. I just rubbed it on here, rubbed the colors on here, and I just took a finger and rubbed it on. So the red neutral metallic, tropical blue, green, yellow, and fit designer. So with dyes, um, I put some as a stamp because I, um, I was going to write the names down here, but I might actually die cut them and just glue them on here. So we'll see what I do. So this is all blank. Oh, which one is the embellishment? Um, this is the Ranger Liquid Pearls that I have. I have one more, I have one more color, but I don't know. I can't read the number on the back and it's not like they, they label the color. So... Yeah, it's more like the yellow, light yellow golden color. So this is my Viva Pearl pins. They're so pretty. I really like these. Uh, Joanne's just got some, so I, I got a couple. And then, um, yeah. So embossing. 
So I took the Lawn Fonts B stamp and I chose it. It's from B Mine. It's, here's the B. And I just embossed it. I still have a couple more that I do need to put on here. And I did buy mustard, so let's fill that out. Uh Okay, here it is. It's like right in front of me. And I did get apricot. So yeah. So I'm gonna have to do it, but you know, wanna feel like it. So there's a hobby lab right where my sister goes to high school. So like I always tell her when she's like going by to get me some. So here's the ranger and I do have clear white. No, I don't have white. I have gold. I use gold. I have, I've been through one bottle of gold. I do have silver, and then I have holographic and liquid platinum. So these are the ones that I have. These are the wild, wild ones I have. So I just did on here. I didn't do a chart because I looked online. They have like over 120 or something like that. Okay, so glimmer and shimmer. This is one that I did. It's so pretty. It's a high swap. Color shines. And I left two um, that are blank. And if I if they come out with more, I probably just take the backs. And this is why my thing is so like thick because I use a lot of cardstock paper. But I will set probably do some back things. This pearl mist. I'll probably do the same thing as my um, Heidi swap when I get to it. So I have six of these. I don't have any dilutions. Maybe they go on super clearance sale. Um, I still only have one Heidi swap, which was rose. This is my very first one. I mean, pink rose. And then I started scrapbooking. And then I wanted all the colors because, you know, you gotta spray drops. Okay, so, okay, going on. Glitter and beads. Um, I have this random pack of Elmer's glue. So I did that. My stickles. Uh, my Tim Holtz Distress Stickles. My Martha Stewart Glitter Glue. I got a pack of these. Uh, from TJ Maxx. Oh, TJ Maxx for $4, which are like these. So I was super happy. So I was so excited. I just like made this chart um, on my Excel and printed it out. And then these are my Distress Glitter color charts. And I... I do have almost all of them, except for one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, maybe that's not almost all. But um, what I did with this was I took... This, which is... What do they call this? Tape. Um... Anyways, I took this and I cut it, and then I just pour the glitter on it, pour the glitter on it, and kind of burnish it a little bit. And then I try to take the other backing out of, off of it and stick it on here. Um, not good. So I just took some glue, liquid glue, and I just glued it on here. And, and the glitter doesn't come out. This is a really nice um, sticker, sticker, um, adhes adhesive. Oops. Okay, now it's coming off. Oops. Okay. Now it's gonna go sick because I took this off. Okay, this is what not to do. Everybody don't do what I'm doing. Because <laughs> now I made a hole. Okay. Okay, so yeah, make sure that it's glued on really well. Uh, yeah, okay, let's go on. Inks. Um, it's my distress inks. I'm almost there. Uh, these are all full size and it's just taken me over a year. Um, these are my hero inks. I do need to fill this out. Um, so this is what I have above my desk because it's a, I just made it smaller and this is so I know what inks I have at home but then I'm not shopping I'm out shopping and it's my list is not at home 
So for now, I'll probably put X's and all the colors that I have and make it a super small ink and start stamping, but it's a lot of work. And super salmon, salmon. My salmon says stamp dye inks. And I do have all the colors, so my mama elephant, I do have all of these. I'm sure they'll come out with more colors. I do have all of Ariel's. Um, I do have most of these. I don't want to say most, but I do have a lot of these. So I still I have a lot of work to do. Okay, so paper. How long is this? Oh no, it's 20 minutes. Okay. Paper, so I don't have the best handwriting. But I put these are usually my 6x6 and my 12 by 12s Um and okay, you can tell my what my favorite paper pads are. Hmm, fifth frog. So I have three. I have three of the twelve by twelves. Um, Pseudo calico, gray paper. Um, my mind's eye recollections. It's just mod five. It's just I usually stick a miscellaneous one here. Um, and this one's paints. So. To most distress, ink daubers, Adirondack um, paint daubers, to most um, crackle paint, which I have two. And punches, I probably punch them and then just put glue it on paper and put it on here so I know what which ones I have. And stamps, I kind of just wrote down. Oh, this is thick. Okay, some are empty. I kind of wrote down um, the list. I'm not. I'm not really finished. But yeah, stencils. Can I just write down my stencils I have? My tin holds. Um, sorry, DCWV. I am not an artist. I'm sorry. Oops. But um, some of them don't have names on it. Okay, so Project Life photo pocket page. I printed this out online and tells you what designs are what. And then this is my core kits. Um, I have a lot and I actually have two more I need to add. Eek. And then my wish list, which um, is that filled out. And these are my extra pages. So I did buy another pack of just plain white. I mean plain white. <laughs> lined. So um, if I need more room for my planner for this, I have an extra pack. And so yeah, this is uh, my work in process, um, work in progress, process. Um, I still have a lot of things like for miscellaneous, oh, I guess I should, miscellaneous, like I have this, I probably put some of the tools that I have, um, I probably do for embellishment, like sequins, I'll probably put like colors that I ordered like from like Pretty Pink Posh or like some Kelly Perky um, sequins I'll probably put it there but it depends and it also depends on like if, if they're going to be in stock or not also um, I have like different ephemera packs or like die cuts and this is like an example how you swap so I might have like a page where I write down like which ones I have because I mean I have collections from my Mary Cra American Crafts and Basic Gray and I'm starting to forget or don't know which one's which so I might write that down um with thickers I might write down the name of the thickers if they don't have a name I put my sample wash tape I was gonna cut like a little bit and kind of just put them down by color um what else was I going to do on here? That's about it. Oh, my wood stamps. Like, my random wood stamps from... Like, from Michael's. Like, I don't know. Like, I know in my head, like, all the stuff that I have because, you know... I don't just put everything in a cart and just check out. I... I, um... I think about every purchase. So I know I have this, but sometimes I might I know I don't know if there's what size, is it a heart? I'm like I don't know the small details. So I might like stamp out like some of them. And then what else? What else? What else am I gonna do? 
Oh, I did buy um, these beads today. The Perla, Perla beads. Um, to, to try to make um, enamel dots. We'll see how that goes. Um, I bought, I just bought the cheapest package, which was $2.99. They have more colors that are like $8.99 packs. I'm like $12.99. But um, I used a coupon with this one, like 40%. So that I wanted to try. And this is the color that the other pack, that if it does work, $8.99. It doesn't have this color, so I specifically picked this color. Um, yeah, I might do maybe do a list of my pens, or my random ones. Like this is my Fab Castile Pet Pet Artist Pens B. Um, so yeah, um, I'll definitely like give you updates on some progress videos of my uh, binder but I probably I mean I'll probably show it here and there while I do other videos but I probably won't do like a total like like flip through video until I've actually finished it or finish it but it's never gonna be finished because I'm always gonna add but I'm like at least most up to date for how I want one things because um, there's some categories I didn't even do yet so I, I need to do that because I'm going on a trip next Monday and um, I'm planning to stop by like three or four doesn't mean I'm gonna buy everything from three or four but you know it's just fun going to stamping stores that's um, you've never been to and um, get to see like talk with the owners you get to see uh, what stuff that they carry because every store is different. Um, there's just so many supplies and stuff like that So I'm really excited and they have a clearance section or a sales section. I'm getting rid of like um, I can't get things cheap like I am This is the reason why I bought that stuff and I don't want duplicate because I'm not like I can return things um, really Super far. So yeah, so this is um, my planning system um my craft inventory binder and hopefully this will give you idea ideas to make your own um, it is very time consuming but i really like the process of doing this um, for me like organizing is um something i love to do so it's not too much for me and because this has been like i can reference this so much um it's actually been really good for me. I'll probably do another tab, like a Stampin' Up! tag. Just a separate one. Which means I probably have to get another packet of these. Because I don't have any more of these tabs. Um, okay, anyways. I'm babbling. Um, just to know. Or actually, you know what? Because Stampin' Up! is... I'm doing it on the side. I probably need another binder. So, you might see another binder. Um, or I'll probably use a full-size one. Because I actually wanted to... Um, see how I like that so I can put in brochures and information and plan parties um, and stuff like that in a big binder so yeah so again thanks for watching and um, have a great week bye